Did you know that chemotherapy is not the only option of cancer treatments and immunotherapy remains another important and new option for cancer patients? Let us understand what is the benefit of use of combination of chemotherapy and immunotherapy for cancer patients. Chemotherapy acts on rapidly dividing cells in the form of chemicals where they stop and halt the growth of cancer cells. But we know that chemotherapy at times can be very, very toxic. Patients can have a lot of adverse effects. And here, science has really come across what is known as immunotherapy, which we offer to our patients in combination with chemotherapy. So what is immunotherapy? Immunotherapy harnesses body's own immune system. Immunotherapy activates our immune system. The lymphocytes get activated and they start attacking the cancer cells and that's the way one can get responses. Now imagine a situation on one side you are using a chemotherapy which is kind of killing normal cells along with cancer cells so we are getting lot of side effects. On other side another elegant way where immunotherapy acts only on the immune cells activates which only attack the cancer cells and to some extent normal cells also. Why the combination? Because there is a lot of synergy. On one side, chemotherapy attacks directly. On other side, the immunotherapy attacks through our immune system. And when this synergy happens, the patient outcomes tend to get better. And there have been multiple areas where it has shown tremendous promises and tremendous research. And that is what we follow in our day-to-day -day practice for our patients. Just to give an example, breast cancer, chemotherapy and immunotherapy is recommended for certain types of breast cancer. In lung cancer, again, chemo immunotherapy has shown quite a longer survival for our patients and that is quite important. Unfortunately, when you mix too many medications, combinations together, we should also be ready to bear those side effects. And here, sometimes the side effects can be slightly be more. So having said that, when you look at the outcome of the patient, the survival of the patient, and the patients tend to live longer, but the side effects are reasonably manageable, that remains the best possible scenario for our patients.